Hello everybody and welcome back to Wario Land 2 with me, Oxfu, and we're on story number 3, Let the Water Out. Now if you remember, we had to turn off the faucet last time, but there's no way to say that we haven't escaped any water damage yet. So this is actually our first aquatic, our first really aquatic level of the game. Oh yeah, I forgot you can do that. You can actually touch these sawfish, you can... If you hit them in the back, they'll actually move forward very quickly, or sometimes they'll change direction and move fo and just move forward really quickly. It's not really something like the butt pound, which comes in handy a lot when you change the direction of some of the of some of the enemies, but it is easy. Oh yeah, I forgot about that also. Oh come on, no, go back through. Yeah, whatever, I'll show you later. Basically what you can do is you can hit them, hit those... Oh, come on, I didn't get, want to get caught in there yet. And basically you go up, you have to use these bubbles... Oh, come on, no, stop! <sighs> you have to use these bubbles to get past this current, but I don't want to go past the current yet because I want to make things easier on myself by knocking those pots out of the way. But you know what? Screw it. Oh, of course now you don't want to come. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. Just becomes a lot easier if I get them all out of the way. And there you go. The bubble lets us float right past the current, and we can move on. I believe... Oh! Hey, new enemy. So, I don't know what these guys are called, but... Basically, by jumping on them, you don't really stun them. You stun them for, like, three seconds, in which they give you some time to pick them up. The easiest way to kill them is basically is the basic running into them with the smash, or picking them up and throwing them against a wall. It's not... Oh, shoot, I could have gone up there. It's not really as easy to just hit them with the, um, the butt pound, but... I don't know, I just like running into them. Let's see if this came back at all. Okay, it did not... I cannot get up there with these guys. Alright, so... Yeah, there's probably just... There's probably 50 coins up there, because... Well, they probably would not expect someone to try looking up there right away. Now this is where you do not want to break the pots, because these bubbles start get are basically here to screw you over and try to bring you back up to the beginning of the level. So, look out. She's an evil enchantress, she does evil dances, and if you look in her eye, she'll put you in trances. So what will you do? She'll cook up an evil stew. So, watch out! She's an evil enchantress, and she does evil dances, and if you look in your eye, she'll put you in trances. So what'll you do when she cooks up an evil stew? Look out. Oh, so, now we have switches! Basically, just jump into them. <laughs> that's, just, that's how easy it is. Uh, no. There we go. For some reason that hit the switch twice when I jumped into it last. Because basically what we were looking to do is drain the water just a little bit so we can actually come up here and do crap. This is one of the places where it would be kind of useful to switch his direction. If we didn't want to deal with jumping on him, we could just pound the ground and he'd go back the other way and we could just collect the, the Hanukkah gelt. But, um... <laughs> We gotta switch that switch again. Switch the switch. Hit the bitch's switch. Okay, I almost went back through that door one more time. And I did not want to. Because it is not time to celebrate. Um Yeah, that's pretty much it for this for this level. It's just gonna be me going through the water at this point. And complaining that I didn't wanna go through the through the currents yet. I wanted to break all the pots and get all of the 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 the, the jewels, the gold. <laughs> I 
think this is. Yes, it is. This is the treasure. One more time. Let's look for treasure. And of course, we're going normal. So we have two more tries afterwards. Alright, another pirate goon. Pretty easy. Uh, ah, uh, shoot. This one? No. Oh, I... Oh, well. So we have our first failure on these games. And we're gonna play you again. We're gonna play you again. We're gonna play you until we get you. Because I hate leaving treasures for after the game ends. Alright, so now we're looking for dog frying pan guy. There you are. Aha! Dog frying pan chimpanzee monkey guy. Monkey man! Ooh, ooh, ah, ah. I love that episode of Arnold. <laughs> it's Monkey Man! Alright. Get some gold. Just heaven knows we're gonna need it. Heaven knows we're gonna need it. Alright. So, it's usually... Because of the pattern, way the bubble goes, it's usually easier to just go this way instead of trying to navigate the right side. And even if you do get the right side, you're not going to be able to go through. Um, I don't... Yeah, you can't actually get through here after you go... After you break those pots, but... Yeah, don't listen to what I'm saying, because I, I... Forgot... I, I forgot that part of the level. Um... You need to break the pots before you can go through with the bubble. Let's just say that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So, these are my favorite parts of the levels, because... Because you can do that. You can actually glitch out the game... Well, first of all, because we get to do the rolling. But before we get to that, you can actually glitch out the game a little by charging up. Charging up the stairs, and then pressing down at the very top of the stairs. And if you get it the right speed, you can actually go rolling up the stairs, which is pretty cool, but it's com it's useful in, I think, one level. But we're not going to get there for quite a while, so... Eh. It's, it, it's a pretty cool thing, still. So now we get to free the water! Ha! We got 225 coins, not bad, not bad. And we got the magic cape, or whatever it is. All right, we're gonna play, of course. We're not gonna skip until we have less than 50 coins. Don't be crazy, draw. All right, so I'm guessing, guessing, mind you, that this is a zero. No, probably an eight or a six. Well, no, it's definitely an 8 or a 6. And let's just check real quick. That is an 8 indeed. And what is that? That is the third piece of the treasure map. Oh my goodness, I can't believe how long this is going to be. This is going to be 71 parts. That's insane. Actually, it's going to be more than that, because we're going to be visiting, I think, like, five levels twice. Yeah, whatever. See you guys next time on Let's Play Wario Land 2 with me, Oaks Fu. Take it easy.